Hey, Matt here, and this is General Elena the Hollow on Brutal. Uh, she has a crossbow, so it's a lot of range attacks. I'm going in with the Frost Shield and the Necromancy Shield, thinking that I can take advantage of that. Uh, I will be wrong here. I probably should have chosen different uh, spell compositions. Um, but we're going in with that and uh, the spear. And she'll get, she has a lot of AoE attacks, a lot of wave attacks. Uh, this crossbow attack is particularly uh, brutal for me. I get hit by it a number of times. It's four shots. Very well spaced out, so you can't just absorb it all with shields, and it does track you. Minions help. Probably should have gone in here with the Necromancy Bolt to spawn more of the minions, I think, but uh, using the shields, and that's what we got. So, probably shield, absorb two shots, maybe a dash, and then watch out for the fourth hit. You can move out of the way, but you gotta be pretty quick. The rest of her attacks, yeah, not too hard to avoid. Spawn a couple, spawn a couple skeletons. Try to lay in the rap some rapid fire spear attacks. One of my favorite weapons at the moment. The weapon abilities. And avoid the AoE. Absorb a couple of shots. Try to avoid the other two. So yeah, ranged weapon probably would have been a lot more effective here. Crossbow or uh, heck, even maybe the pistols. Minions really help with that crossbow attack because they'll track them and not you. Much wider AoE. Going into a pillar phase, you got to kill the pillar to be able to continue attacking her. So you got to avoid the AoE. She also does these kind of pie slice wave attacks. So staying, you know, mid range, pretty close to the pillar, will help you run the least distance to avoid avoid that stuff. Um, otherwise, you got to you know dash. Pillar doesn't uh, have that much health, uh, but you got to you know, you know hit it a few times to get it knocked down. Pie attack. Go on, get some damage in. There we go. I think a regu regular attack probably would have worked just uh, would have worked better. Okay, we. So, you know, the fight goes a little bit longer in this case, so patience is more important. Um, but her attacks are pretty repetitive and not, not too hard to read. wave got away from there we are about even at the moment get a couple skeletons and that's a good opportunity to land some rapid rapid strike stabs Oof. lucky there not so lucky ouch good shot all right some much needed health orbs here and I am behind Looking at that, it's not too hard to avoid those crossbow shots. You just gotta be a little quicker than, than not. Le definitely uh, less forgiving than our other moves. Many more of those hits, and then he you know, probably two hits away from death here. Possibly one. Big AoE run! Just barely made it. But we got another pillar phase, unfortunately. So. That was not. Uh, that was that was that was disheartening to see when I had such low health. So it just means more patience and you know, trying to avoid getting making stupid mistakes. Nice and close to the pillar, you can get out of those, you can avoid those pretty easy. She drops down, another AoE, pop the ultimate. She has a counter there, which I only seen her use there. I don't know how often she actually uses that, but that could be devastating, obviously, if uh, used like when I'm attacking her. <laughs> another AoE attack, but she's pretty close to death, so. Two, don't get hit. Hit. Oh, we're gonna do it. I love the frost shield. Defensive damage is always nice. And that's it. 
Uh, General Elena, the hollow on Brutal. Um, better spell comp probably would have been a lot faster and more effective, so let's keep that in mind. Um, but I hope that was helpful, and have a good one. Salutations.